I bought this walnut blanket swat two years ago and I've been giving it a chance to dry. It was still pretty wet. Now it's down to about four and a half percent. Let's go ahead and turn it into a small bowl. It's about four and three quarters square by two and three quarters deep. So it's not going to make a very big dish, but it should make a pretty one. Let's see what it happens. First thing we got to do is get it round. So check this out. Because it's so small, I'm going to use a, a mortise and not a tenon. I'm toying with the idea of making this a wing bow. Flatten the bottom here. Decided to use my SC2 chuck because this is relatively small, or my SC1, whatever it is, and it'll let me have a thicker wall for my mortise. Y'all know I like. And my mortise tool. That should be enough of a mortise. A little rough in a few places, but I still should be able to start at 120, I think. The mortise, I think, is deep enough. I like these wings. I will be going in to about right there. Once I turn it around and start working on the inside, I think now it's time to sand. There is some nice curl right in here. I'm going to start in reverse. Got some burl figure right here. So I'm gonna let this myelin dry a little bit and I'll put some Cynthia. Some Cynthia? Been talking long, Bill? I'll put some thin CA in this crack and in this crack. I use the myelins first because I don't want it to stain. When I've got that done, I'll come back. Start by super glue. Click the link in the description below, you'll save 15% on your order. There's no code to enter. Just click the link. Let's see if we can get this to soak in. It'll soak in some. When this is all cured up and I get it sanded back off, I'll come back. Alright, that was 600. This is labeled wrong. It should be Axe First Step. It's beeswax and pure tongue oil. Alright, I'm going to let this set up for about 20 minutes. I'll come back, buff it down. I'll just dry overnight and then I'll come back in the morning and we'll turn it around and hollow the inside. Last night while I was asleep, I do my best thinking when I'm asleep, I decided what I think I want to do. It'd be a cute little wing bowl, but it'd be a little deep for that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a lidded box instead. And I've got something planned for that. For the lid, I'm going to use this piece of 100 year old big leaf maple. But it's not just going to be any old kind of lid. So first, I have to successfully get this thing hollowed out. So let's see what we can do. It's running true over here, but it's a little lopsided over here, but I knew it was. Oh, 
don't want to lose my wing. Now, first thing I want to do is cut a step for the lid. Bad boy, I forgot to take my watch off. Sorry about that. Thank y'all for reminding me. turning this with a scraper. That mortise is really shallow and I don't want to throw it off of there again. Time to sand. And like before, Pack's first step. Let the walnut soak this in a few minutes and then we'll buff it up and tomorrow we will start on the lid. My corners got a little rounded, but that's okay. Okay, so I've got the maple between centers at the moment. First thing I want to do, set my calipers to right there. that out.
Okay, that looks really good. I'm gonna have to redo part of the bottom, but. Now I'm thinking maybe turn it around and fix the bottom. I stopped because I blew a chunk off and I'm not happy about it. I was actually quite angry for a little bit. I've got it glued back in. Uh, you may be able to see a seam later. I don't know. Probably will. But I've got an idea. We'll see if it'll work. If it don't, then it goes. this goes to the burn pit and I'll just try again. But I'm not going to be able to do anything until tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm going to SWAT. So this will have to wait until I get back next week. My plan is to turn the finial from this piece of coca bolo. I'm going to use the coca bolo because I think it'll be a perfect contrast with the maple lid and it'll match the, the figure of this walnut well enough. Okay, it's been several weeks and I came back from SWAT and I've been doing some reorganization. So now it's time to get back to work on this little box. <laughs> cogitate on how I want to try to fix this. So I've glued a piece of SIPO on here. I've turned this flat, got a good joint, and I'm going to make this somewhat of a collar to go between the walnut and the maple. And I think that will look nice. At least I, it does in my head. So I guess we'll see. So the first thing I want to do is get it round. And like before, I want to sneak up on the fit. I dropped this the other day and banged up some places so before I go any further with this what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the other lathe then I will fix this rim. Okay, back to it. Well, it's different, ain't it? <clears throat> but it don't look bad. Don't look bad at all. I need to hollow this. Okay, I'm going to put a couple of decorative beads inside here. Okay, 
Okay, now I need to sand this up. Okay, that's 400. See how bad I loosened the fit. Nope, it's still fairly tight. I'll let that sit just a few minutes and then I will buff it up. First thing I want to do is get this a little bit round. This will be the finial. It's Cocobolo. And like a dummy, I forgot to hit record. So there's my finial. The first thing I want to do, if you look at this angle compared to this angle, it's out a little bit. So first thing I want to do is take that end of where it should be. That looks pretty good. start at one fifth. What I'm going to do first is sand this area. Give me some axe one step on here. I'm going to sand these off square and I will do the sanding on this to my oscillating spindle sander and I'll sand these back a little bit. I'm going to draw some lines so that I know what to sand to. I'm just going to do that off camera because it's too much trouble to take the camera over there. Okay, I've got these all sanded up and the corners are pretty sharp, but what I don't think I do like is the contrast of the mahogany between the walnut and the maple. I just, I don't know. I just don't know. Well, as usual, I'm stupid. I thought I hit record. I didn't. I've turned the bottom of this off now. Got me a decorative ring in it. And it is time to sand. Okay, that was to 400. Looks good. Now I just need to laser my logo in the bottom and we'll be good. I now have to figure out what kind of finish I want to put on it. I'm still undecided. I don't know. Do I want it shiny or do I want it more natural like this? I just don't know. So here's the box. I'm not going to put stills up at the end because it's not completely finished. I mean, it's done. My logo is burned in the bottom and it's all done. It's got one coat of tongue oil on it, but I'm undecided about something. So I'm going to basically I'm going to leave it up to y'all as to how I finish this. Do I want it glossy? 
or do I want it with more of a natural wood luster kind of like this? If so, then I'll put a couple more coats of tongue oil on it and, and leave it with a natural wood luster. So I'm either going to spray it with a gloss finish or I'm going to leave it natural. I'm going to leave that up to you. I went with kind of a Japanese style finial. I looked at a bunch of pictures of Japanese finials and I found something similar to this on uh, that they put on tops of buildings sometimes and, and I really kind of like it so that's what I use it fits it's a nice friction fit but it's not hard to get off the inside's done bottom of the lid is decor inside the lids decorated it's an odd looking piece yes I, at least I think it's kind of an odd looking piece it's somewhat similar to Pagoda, somewhat. I mean, you know, that's a stretch. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all let me know what kind of finish you want on this, and I will, I'll put a short up after I do it. I'm happy with it. I'm glad I dyed that place where the maple and the sepo met because that line just looked weird, but I like the black. So what's next? That's a good question. Got a lot of things I want to turn. A lot of things I want to do. I'm going to do more ingrain boxes. I'm kind of on an ingrain box kick right now. I don't know why. Because I, I like doing them. And I'm hoping that they sell. But I have a live oak vase that I started last year that I need to get back to and finish. So that's probably going to be my next video. I, I want to finish that live oak vase because I'm tired of kicking it around in the shop. Literally. Sitting over there on the floor behind the file cabinet. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Honest. I do. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all have a great day.